Hello, my name is Augusto and in this video I'll talk a bit about field types on the Firebase plugin for Bubble we've developed. Uh, the field types are a core feature of the plugin for you to define the type of data you want to store on the Firestore database. So let's go to my computer here. Uh, I'm, this is the showcase app we have on the plugin page. You can access here, the, dem the demonstration app and the editor of this app is also available here. But, well, it's a simple task manager app. And in this task manager app, let me open the editor real quick. We, we save or we store to the Firestore database tasks as documents. Let me zoom in a bit. And and in these tasks, we store a description as a text or a string, uh, a done field that can be true or false, it's a boolean field, a date field with a due date, uh, the owner reference of this document, and a bunch of texts. There is an, an array of, uh, of texts. To do so, when we click the plus button here, or the plus icon, we use the action create a document from the Firestore, uh, from the Firebase plugin. And on this task, we define the collection in which we want to start this document. Uh, here is a data trigger that, that's related to action triggers. You can read more about that on our documentation. Uh, and here below, we define the fields we want to store. So here is the description field, the due date field, the done, the owner, and tags. And I must provide this data in a certain way, uh, but Bubble only accepts uh, this data as text. So we must convert this text to the uh, appropriate types I want to store on the Firestore database. Uh, to do that, I must uh, aside from providing the fields and the field values here, uh, on this field types below, I must specify for each of these fields which type I want to use. So I define the description type as being text, the due date type as being a date, the done type as being the boolean, an owner as a reference uh, to another document in another collection, and the tags is uh, a list. And in this case, how will I know what I must provide as a value up here and which uh, keywords can I use down here? To know that, you can go to our documentations on the field types table. So here is our documentation. It's on Gitbook. And, and you can go to the field types table. And here we have a table that specifies all the keywords you can use and how you must provide the text data on Bubble for it to store properly on the Firestore database. So here I can provide the keyword boolean or bool to, uh, and it turns zero, no and false values into a false boolean value and turns any other types of value into true. Uh, text ones are the simpler ones because we are already providing text to Bubble. Uh, we have numbers, date types, or timestamps. Uh, in many cases, we've developed many, more than one keyword for you to use because you can relate to the mindset you already have for this kind of data. That's why we have more than one keyword for uh, the same kind of Firestore data or the same kind of Firestore field on the document. Uh, and we have some special types that must be treated uh, in a special way. For instance, reference. References are a very complex object type on the Firebase SDK. Uh, and we've oversimplified it for a path to the document on Bubble. So you must if you want to reference a document on the users collection, you must provide users slash the document ID and it will translate it into a, a reference type as we did on the owner field here, all right? Uh, well, there is a very extensive uh, list of keywords you can use. Some, some of these keywords are kind of operations you want to do on the, on the field. 
for instance, you can use list add date to add a date to a pre-existing list of dates on a field. If the field does not exist, it will create this field list for us. So it's, uh, it's very useful for you to use this list related keywords to deal with different types of lists on your, uh, on your Firestore database. We have also geopoint fields that can convert into lat latitude and longitude fields. We, you can give the order in the delete type field to remove the field from the document, to increment the a number field, etc., etc., etc. So you can relate to our, you can go to our uh, documentation to know exactly which keywords are available for you to use on the creation do or document creation actions from the plugin. That's that's specifically where they will most be used. Uh, well. That's it for this video. I only wanted to show you how to know what to do with the field types on the create documents or update document actions on the Firebase plugin. See you in the next video.